Are you feeling better, Dinyarzad? Yes, much better. Just give me a few moments and I'll be good to go. I didn't realize you were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. I was actually born with Elazar. It's terminal now. Oh my god. So are you are you gonna turn into a lizard person? Can't believe it's Elazar. Oh, uh, you've already heard of Elazar. In that case, you probably know about its severity. Sumero's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. Dunyarzad. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. And now she becomes the Tepe of this story. And to be honest, I cannot care for her more than Tepe that just Okay, because we actually interact, we actually interact with her more than Tepe appear here and then nowhere. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. The joy on everyone's faces here. And all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way, when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world, right? Uh, as long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, no, even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. <laughs> oh, thank you too so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is... This is out of character for me. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. If it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. Thanks. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Oh, right. Isn't it almost time? Huh? Almost time for what? Isn't the dance of Subzerus about to begin? It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to the most. Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the Subzerus festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also... waiting for let's go to the stage yeah we should still make it in time were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission over there someone's yelling at Nilu. i think i just saw the academia's grand sage why is he here in person but the dance of Subzerus is one of the key parts of the Subzerus festival. If we can't perform it, the Subzerus festival. The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the academia can host such an event. 
If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... how did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the Subzerus Festival, but they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. This is a hard pill to swallow, but you're right. Things would only get worse. Art. Dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No. I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The Subzeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dunyarzad. You all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Uh, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere on the stage? Or we could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, uh, no. They just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilu, it's all right. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the Dance of sub so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the sub festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. If you say so, but you can sneak out for the next sub festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. <sighs> the next one. Yes, okay, it's a promise. It will be a smashing success. Paimon can't believe this is how things turned out, those heartless geezers. It really is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Milu's dance. <sighs> a lot happened today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. Nilo and Dunyarzad promised to make the next sub festival a success, but Dunyarzad is running out of time. Yeah. Oh. Huh? What now? All connections have been secured to construct the most stable framework possible. What the? The project has entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from... Why is it happening? Good 
your side? Not at all. I arrived early. Uh, you seem kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Sure! Uh, Traveler, why are you just standing there? Let's get going! Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! This is a stall offering foods from the Huffed Mewa Feast. You are quite well informed, miss. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Are we resetting the day? Really? They're all plants! Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. Actually, what is the Hoft Mewa Feast you mentioned just now? It's one of the Subzerus Festival's traditions. People used to set their tables with seven different foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. appear to be in the form of the moon okay it seems that we just skip to this now okay thanks game what really i thought it looked like some kind of food hmm the moon signifies hmm it's escaping me for now wait a moment is he really looking it up in a book Oh, right. <laughs> it means illusions and lies. But if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. Understood. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. So, where to next? Um, I think you were supposed to say something, do ya? Soldiers, now that you have your Yalda candies, don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! Yes, yes Knight Ferris! What's going on? Is this a play? Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another Subzeris festival icon and one immensely popular with children. <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can meet the Knight of Flowers. Oh, do you want some Yalta candies? I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Uh, what's to pick? Don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, how interesting! And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Ugh, why do those flavors even exist? Hmm. Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants to eat the sunsetia flavor. Great! These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want?
Ah, excellently chosen. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. Huh? Wait, but I chose that one. Wait, I chose that one. <laughs> Paimon bet you had incredible luck, and Paimon was right. Instinctively chose the right box? Hmm. But now that you mention it, Paimon also had the feeling you'd choose the right one. Is that kind of like what you felt? Maybe we didn't sleep very well last night. Or maybe we slept too much. Oh, uh, no, no, wait. She's gonna be. I talk about the. Oh, it, sure. Huh? Where are you going? You're just gonna walk off like that? A feeling of... Deja vu? Oh, Paimon knows what that is. It's when you feel like you've already experienced whatever is going on. In that case, Paimon also felt something like that today. But... That's just our brains playing tricks on us, isn't it? So, why'd you run here in such a hurry? So that's it! You're intentionally doing things you usually wouldn't and seeing if you still get that same feeling of deja vu! Welcome, you two! Are you here for lunch? What would you like to eat? Got it. You don't look like you're from these parts, but I gotta say, you got good taste. <laughs> I'll give this order to the kitchen. Coconut charcoal cake? Isn't it that... that burn thing that didn't look tasty at all? Oh, Paimon understands what you're trying to do now. You'd never normally order something like this. Okay, this is kind of strange because I don't know why, but the travel is kind of... Too small to actually be, you know, the blank sheet that we supposed to get in. Like, he's mute, but in the same time he's still a character. Even Gatita did this better. That thing? Are you really gonna eat it? And now that that's something that I noticed, we can actually find coconuts in this area? Imagine how cheese is gonna be delivered, Sam. Uh, isn't this going a bit too far? Huh, how was it? The look on your face is telling Paimon that it tasted awful. Then, you mean... That's impossible! We were just talking about how gross it looked! Wait, wait, I eat this? Wait, that was yesterday or a couple of days ago. So, would this be a case of taste bud deja vu? Again, how in the world the tower has got uh, this smart? And why do I think this is gonna be like uh, what what's called that anime that has that eight episodes that repeat? And I don't mean they repeat using the same thing. They actually change the animation and you know close, but it was the same thing only for eight episodes. Man, that was something. And I guess this is travel not in the first time, but many times already reset. Gets the impression that we've been here many times, even though we are regulars. Um, how about we go out again and try something else? Hey, Dinner's is sitting by yourself on. 
on that bench over there. What a coincidence, Dunyarzad. We meet again. Uh, why are you sitting here all by yourself? Oh, I ran into some kidnappers just now. But thankfully, Dia came to my rescue. I started to feel unwell after that, so I sat down here. Kidnappers? Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. Dia's arm got scratched, but it isn't serious. Whew. That's a big relief. But, Dunyarzad, you seem a little down today. It's the Subzerus Festival, and you've been looking forward to it so much! Not at all. I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion or strong emotions tend to aggravate my illness. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. After however many more days, my time will come to an end. Paimon doesn't quite follow you, and Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. It really is fine. I don't mind. Huh? Did something happen? Dunyarzad, have you ever felt deja vu? You know, like when you've already experienced something that's happening right now? Deja vu? No. But my days have been the same for years now. Even if I were feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used to it. Oh, Paimon sees. Then, is it only the two of us? It's almost time. Huh? Time for what? Nilu's Dance of Subzerus is about to begin. Let's go. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will publicly announce it later through the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. <sighs> The Subzerus Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. It's okay. There's nothing we can do about it. But you've been really looking forward to this. I don't want you to have any regrets. It truly is unfortunate, but I don't want to cause trouble for anyone. Didn't the Grand Sage say that he might investigate the organizers? True, but... <sighs> well, okay. I'll just have to try again next year. The next festival. I probably won't be around by then. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, no, nothing. I'll be heading back to rest. Thank you for your help, everyone. Paimon can't believe what those heartless geezers did! <laughs> did Dunyarzad already go back? We should also return and get some sleep. So, in the end, you still couldn't figure out what that deja 
Vu feeling was all about? Hmm... Maybe it really was because of exhaustion. Same here. That's why Paimon stopped thinking about it halfway through the day. <sighs> then, how about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? For now, we can chalk things up to exhaustion. We can do more thinking tomorrow. Observing a modest drop in the output of Nyana energy, but values still remain within normal parameters. Continue to monitor the variances in the data and find the cause as soon as possible. And uh, I don't know why. Why do I feel we are in the tube and we, you know, we are in, in a simulation? Right away. <laughs> <laughs> 